Last Friday, Wall Street closed with the gains. All three main stock indexes brought a decisive end to the longest weekly losing streaks in decades. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq halted a run of seven consecutive weekly declines. The Dow Jones added its eight-week sell-off, the longest since 1932. Analysts reckon that the U.S. economy remains strong and resilient despite current uh, challenges. Investors shook off fears and returned to the equity market on a Friday. Which sentiment prevails today? What happened in the Asian session? So, how did Forex react uh, to Wall Street's rally? Watch uh, our video review and find out. Last week, the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 locked the best performance since November 2020. The main catalyst for a rally was the upbeat US data published on Friday. So, according to the report, the consumption expenditure remained stable at the beginning of the second quarter. It may facilitate the GDP growth this year. Apart from that, the first quarter earnings season is almost over. So far, 488 companies included in the S&P 500 have already unveiled the quarterly results with a 77% top in analyst forecast. Usually, this figure totals about 66%. In April, the PCI price index fell to 6.3% after reaching a high of 66 .6 in March on an annual basis. On a monthly basis, the index notched an even more impressive result, dropping to 0.25% in April from 0.9% in March. Thus, the indicator reached the lowest level since November 2020 and consumption expenditure increased by 0.9% in April. As a reminder, inflation on the contrary decreased slightly. The combination of these two facts, rising consumption expenditure and slowing inflation, may signal an expansion of the US economy in this quarter. It's quite possible that inflation in the world's largest economy has already reached its peak, hence stagflation and recession are unlikely to occur. If this scenario comes true, the Fed may take a pause in its tightening cycle of aggressive rate hikes in the next two months. In a turn, it could fuel demand for risk assets lifting up the shares of Apple, Microsoft and Tesla. Investors are now more optimistic about the Fed's soft landing after the positive consumption expenditure data. Stock markets climbed higher for the same reason. U.S. Treasury yields have already rolled back as they are usually up on expectations of a more aggressive measures by the Fed. The U.S. dollar index dipped to monthly lows versus its main rivals due to rise in stocks. Although the US dollar is now showing the first monthly decline in five months, analysts believe that it's likely to be a temporary drop. Of course, risk appetite is exerting pressure on the safe haven currency. Besides, the core PCI price index fell to 4.9% in April from 5.2% in March. However, we are well aware of a low equity market sentiment can change. Now, fears of the global recession have receded a little. This is why the US dollar is losing momentum. In the Asian session, the US dollar index was trading in the range of 101.39 and 101.72. At the time of preparing material for this video, it dropped to 101.45. The long-term outlook for the index for will remain positive, as long as it consolidates above 96.76. The probability of declining the dollar-yen pair to 126 has decreased. On a Friday, the pair traded above this level and closed 127.11. On a Monday, the pair started in the, almost the same range as in the close of the last week. At the time of preparing material, it was located at 127.30, fluctuating between the resistance level of 127.39. The yen was trading quite steadily. In early May, the Japanese currency decreased to a 20-year low of 131. So, today's rise was quite significant today, despite the risk on sentiment.
The Aussie climbed higher amid the renewed risk appetite and the rally in the stock markets. It approached the three-week high of 0.7177. Apart from that, Shanghai announced that some lockdown measures imposed on businesses will lift it on June 1. Beijing reopened some shopping malls and East Mobility Corps in several districts. The Australian dollar is also up amid the Reserve Bank of Australia hockey stance as inflation is expected to grow the central bank plans to raise the interest rate more aggressively in June. In the Asian session, the LDUSD pair approached the upper border of the channel of 0.7153 and 0.7195, and the pair may touch 0.72. At the time of preparing material for this video, the level of LDUSD pair was at 0.7187. Optimism on Wall Street impacted Asian trading. Today, the US market is closed on the occasion of Memorial Day. However, the economic calendar is a quite eventful this week. The labor market data and the manufacturing and services PMI indexes are due. And the several Fed policymakers will deliver their speeches. Keep your finger on the pulse with the InstaForex TV channel. See you soon.